qualified recruits report to the ready room for your level two qualification flight. Sounds perfectly reasonable. Last episode we did a bombing run. So maybe it's dog fighting this time around. Maybe, we'll see. Okay, let's get down to business. All right, everyone, settle down. You will be assessed on your ability to engage a variety of targets in mock combat situations. You may select from any of the available starfighters and armaments. The recognized primary craft for this role are the superb X-Wing and the increasingly popular A-Wing. It is assumed that you possess basic flight skills and weapons training. This test will evaluate your strengths as a solo dogfighter, then as part of a flight element of two craft, next as part of a flight group of four craft, and finally as a member of a full squadron of 12 fighters. You will face a gradually escalating series of challenges. More important than your skills as an individual will be your abilities as a member of a team. You will deploy from the Alliance Cruiser Defiance. Follow your instructor, Lieutenant Garn, to the first target area, where you will begin the evaluation. In target area one, you will engage in a series of mock dogfights against the Empire's principal space superiority starfighter, the TIE, or Twin Ion Engine Fighter. Lieutenant Garn will observe. Next, you will work with Lieutenant Garn as a two-ship flight element in another series of dogfights against the TIE Interceptors, a more recent and far more capable space superiority fighter. In target area three, you will be joined by another two-ship element to fight yet another series of dogfights against equal and then greater numbers of enemy starfighters. In the final test, you will fly as part of an entire squadron in a massive engagement against multiple enemy squadrons featuring a variety of starfighters, some of which are armed with concussion missiles. You will deploy from the Alliance Cruiser to find... Whoa! That one bit there at the beginning, the audio was so much more, well, present, let's say, um, uh, euphemistically speaking. But yeah, um, I'll, I'll try to fix that in post. Oh, wow, you are a beautiful cockpit. I do love this. Uh, keep safe. Anyway, let's see. Switchcraft, maybe. We can go with an A-Wing. I think I'm going to go with an X-Wing, though. And... If we have... Thank you. If we can get advanced missiles, we shall. And chaff. Yes, this all seems good. I'm also really happy that I've finally figured out how to solve the problem with the, uh, the briefing audio being cut off. Just had to change my monitor to 60 hertz rather than 75. Weird little thing, but glad it's working now. Target the nav buoy and we'll be on our way. That's all good. Yeah, I love this cockpit though. Not as much as I love the... Oh, um... Set your throttle to one third and evade at once. Whoa. Well, I, I, I did, yes. the appropriate threat warning indicator is lit. Once you've evaded the enemy attack, you must counter. You'll need to evade better than that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it hit me num a number of times. Two enemy craft will attack you simultaneously. Let's not go for a head-to-head. -head. Oh. Good. Thank you for being bad shots. Just tagging you. Don't worry about it. Okay, maybe worry a little bit about it. Good job. One down and one to go. Okay. Some more too. 
Weapons might be needed. Now let's see how well you handle an attack by three enemies. Uh, usually not a big difference between two and three. But who knows? Maybe I'll be surprised. Right. Good start. Now you're only facing two to one on. Whoa. Let's see now. Oh, you left. Will you? Do you promise? Um, yeah. Yeah. Right, good luck. Maybe that's something I should say to myself. Also, I don't like being this close to that platform. So I'm gonna move out a little bit. Hey, two, you better shake that bandit off your six. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa! Well done. I'm impressed. All right, all right. I think this isn't enough. Oh wow. Maybe I was wrong. Why do you... These guys are really good at luring me back to their... ...base. Sort of. Which I find both impressive and a little bit... ...frustrating. Oh, you were close. All right. Hyperspace to the next target area. Two ship element. Will do. Now you're close. Right there. Oh. That was disconcerting. Going into hyperspace backwards. Yeah, let's give you. I will now join you, and we'll Very nice. Together. Very nice. We'll I think the target and attack four. it from two angles. I'll break to the right while you break to the left. Oh, okay. No, no, no. You did say. I think. Um, the 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 aiming reticule is wonky. The underside is slightly to the left of the top side. I can go with this. Night. Very good. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, um... There's 19 and 20, though. But fine, have it your way. I really don't like how close they are to that station. On the other hand, the station in the last area actually shot red lasers, or blasters. All right, fine. One less to worry about. Like you need a little help. Take that. Well, I mean, I would prefer if you gave me some time to actually get them. Here. Do we concentrate on 
one of the two flight elements, or do we split up and each of us take on a different element? There is no perfect answer. You have to play it by ear. Right. And what's your answer in this? Because I'm following you and you seem to be following me. Uh, all right. I just need some more shields. Whoa, okay. Outstanding. A wax one. Um, yeah, Olin, give me some. Let's finish him off. One kill. Great. And yeah, we've got our hands full, but I'm sure you can handle it. Yeah, with you around, kill stealer. Okay, that was a little mean. Sorry about that. Beta squadron all destroyed 53%, so we're about halfway done. And I think this is good enough. Oh, wait. Oh, hello. Did not expect that to hit. Getting the hang of it, slowly but surely. because each group is bigger than the last one. 53%, well, let's see, 47% is an entire flight group. Also, feels like you should be shooting at me. Also feels like I'm upside down. These new backdrops are really gorgeous. As are the ships, naturally. But yeah. Always really made me a little bit curious that you can't harm these. It's, I mean, it's good, yes, but weird. Okay, tie interceptors. I can deal with that. Hey, two attacking craft dead ahead. We have X-wing green coming with us as well on this little picnic. Got him. Well shot. Oh, this is straight up or straight down. Got it. Keep forgetting that's a thing you should avoid. Imperial training seems a bit lax. Yeah. Never fly straight for long. Lots of enemies. Yeah. Lots of targets. If you're not careful, you'll lose your shields. Lots of I did, yeah. Is good because you can protect one another. It's also risky because you can accidentally hit each other. I don't think that happened. Also. Like, I played through TIE Fighter about six or eight months ago, and I don't think I ever was hit by friendly fire yeah. in that game. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist in this Another one, but... That's one less to worry about. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist in this game, though. Yeah. You never Woo. quite know. And... Um, 
Also, there's something behind us. Oh, okay. Yeah, pilots. Let's not worry about them. All right. Hyperspace to the next target area. Twelve ship squadron. Will do. Also, I wonder if these are like the design is influenced by Bespin, like Cloud City. I think they probably must be, but I've never seen that design in anywhere else but in this game. All right. Oh, there you are. Thai bombers, that's my cue. This is one. I'm under heavy fire. This is nine. I've got a starship firing at me. Thai bombers aren't much in a dogfight. This is 12. I'm under heavy fire. This is 10. The turbo lasers are targeting me. Unless they're armed with concussion missiles. Wait. Oh, okay. The, it was the Star Destroyer. I was thinking, like, wait, we're nowhere near the furball. But yeah, they are. Oh, never mind. They are. We aren't. Got it. Uh, no. Uh, I want the bombers. Someone here has to think about the, you know, safety of the thing we're. Uh, did you actually? You did kill it. Finishing the thought I had. All right, never mind. We all do. Wait, that's it? Congratulations, you have demonstrated satisfactory skills. Consider yourself ready for immediate assignment. Yay! I feel like maybe my instructor was a little bit lenient and didn't really feel like I could do any of the things. I also feel like I'm being targeted. But yeah, like, he fought for me. But I, I guess I got the hint, so to speak. Also, wait, 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 wait. Bonus, Delta Squadron, all destroyed. Bonus, uh, Eta Squadron, all destroyed. This is one. I could use some help. Always do your best to protect your wingmates. All right, uh, hmm. I wanted to, s um, scroll down a little bit there, but, uh, Great no dice. Out there, Azamine. Thank you. Not really feeling like I did a lot, but all right. On the other hand, I am just a recruit. Yeah, um, come on. Right, never mind. Go to well the briefing. You have shown competence in performing the space superiority role. This test confirmed your tactical abilities in the following circumstances: in one versus one, one versus two, and one versus many. As part of a flight element in two versus one, two versus two, and two versus many. And 
as a member of a group or squadron in many versus many situations. Given the great disparity in strength between the Galactic Empire and the Alliance, we must always seek whatever relative advantage we can. Thus, we avoid direct confrontations against the Empire's main strength, instead relying on stealth and surprise to launch sneak attacks where Imperial forces are weak, and we can attain a temporary local superiority. Sounds like, um, admirable, well, admirable might be the wrong word, but a uh, clever strategy. Thank you. I have new messages for you, Ace. Thank you. Congratulations on your promotion. The rest of the Certified is for you in the flight kit. Yes, yes, yes. Don't, don't, don't harry me. Uh, Tauntaun Splash on Cologne. Imported from Hoth. Oh. And I thought they smelled bad on the outside. Uh, this cologne has never made much progress on the galactic market. It reads, smells good on the outside. Yeah, no one wants you to test that claim. But owning one, I mean, you can use it in practical jokes. You know. Anyway, yes, emails. Um, yeah, TIE Fighter 18, TIE Interceptor. Six. Yeah, I didn't do much that mission feels like. Or well the one section where it's one versus one, two, and many, etc. That, that worked well, I think. 66% in next rating. Toll kill 66, alright. So Aaron Azamine will be gone for a while. If you don't hear from me for a little while, don't worry. I'm off to do some serious slicing. So I'll be keeping a low profile. Talk to you soon. Slicing in Star Wars is basically just hacking. Uh, for those of you who might not have read the books. Green 7, you're not alone. Hi, my name is Jorgis. I heard your group has been activated. Uh, two. So I thought I'd wish you luck. I joined about the same time you did, and it's somehow comforting to know comforting uh, to know that I'm not the only rookie going out today. Good luck to us, Jorgis Green Group. Iman Azamin, urgent. Hey bro, I'm going to be talking to your commanding officer soon about getting you some time off. Aaron's not around and I need your help. I'll tell you more when I see you. Yeah, a lot of things happening there. Oh well. Let's see. Yeah. Felt good to be in an X-Wing again. And the last mission before that, the Y-Wing. That doesn't sound like me. Uh, yeah, the, the Y-Wing mission there felt a little bit odd. Then again, so did this one, because it felt like all of my teammates were doing all of the work and I was always a little bit too far behind to do anything. I suspect that will change, though, with the mission design going forward. And with all of that said, ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, I've been Computer, this has been X-Wing Alliance Upgrade. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.